Hello everyone, this is Tina with Tiaz's Treasures and today I have for you Throwback Thursday and the Simon Says Stamp Happy Days Ahead March 2022 card kit. Now, surprisingly, I have not touched this kit at all. Um, it comes with, well, it came with a little pom-pom, two little pom-poms, a bigger pom-pom, and a button, which I still had in the original baggie. It came with a small cloud um, stencil set, a single Happy Easter, well, a um, sentiment card in white, two of the, um, let me see, two watercolor uh, Su uh, Susie's watercolor cards, two of them. Comes a little bunny and this cute little bird. It also comes with um, Paper Roses Wild Flower Field. Now, I actually bought another pack of this so I didn't have to figure out which side I wanted to use. And I still didn't use any of these. But, I mean, they're, they're pretty nice. That's alphabet. I like that. That's I might do something with that. That's pretty cool with all these little sentiments you could cut out or just use the whole thing as a background. Florals. Nice. Yep, just uh, some nice paper. So now that I know I have a whole nother pack, I don't have to be worried. Um, I pulled out from my stash, I think these are the right colors. It's supposed to be Smoke, Lavender, and Cornflower, and Nina 110, which I have a whole big ream of, so that wasn't a problem. But I have never used this stamp set. I wonder if I, it just intimidated me, because I've come to the conclusion that I think critters a lot of times just intimidate me. I've got, you know, videos with me using them and stuff, but it's not unusual for me to be like, hmm, what am I going to do about that? And think about it till I don't do anything with it. So being as Easter's the next holiday or big holiday, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and do something with this stamp set and this... Um, card kit. And see, this is how I had it stored was this was put one place and then everything else was kind of all over the place. So I had to bring it all together. Um, some card kits like the spell binders I keep in the boxes, which I, I think I'm enough to figure out how to store them. That's my biggest thing. How do you store these old card kits so you know what you have and you can use stuff in your stash? You know, it's just... Uh, the spell bar, the Simon says I can all put in a bin and go through, but other card kits, I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure. Let me know what you do. So anyway, let me uh, make some cards. Okay, we are going to start by stamping out, um, let me think. We are going to stamp. Well, if we stamp out the grass, I'm trying to think what I need to mask off. I want the bunny behind the grass. So if I stamp the grass and then mask that, the bunny would be behind it. I hope, you know, I don't do a whole lot of masking, which should be evident from now on. So let's start by doing the grass and hoping for the best. I'm going to do this tuft of grass here. And then we're going to mask this. Try to mask this. <laughs> How do you mask grass? I don't know. We're going to try. And then we will put the bunny behind it. Put the bunny in front of the grass. Ah. And if this does not turn out at all, well, I will be cutting this. <laughs> and I want some Copic ink. 
So I have some Hero Arts Intense Black, which is alcohol marker friendly. On our next card, we're going to be doing some water coloring, but this one we'll use some Copics and doesn't sound like I can talk very well tonight. So we will see. Hmm. And it's, I have a sentiment already stamped and cut out. Somebody loves you. Oh, that turned out pretty good. We'll do one more just to be safe though. And now I get a piece of um, masking paper. Okay, a piece of masking paper. Should be able just to do half of it. About right like that. And put that there. And uh, a piece of tape to hold it in place. Yep. And now we will cut this out. Let's see if it's any if I'm any good at cutting it out. And the nice thing about this is you can cut on the lines pretty much. Let's see, you know what? We're gonna use these two bunnies. So, I think mostly, I wish we'd use the little heart too, because that's just too cute. If we put these here, like this, we want them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't just want to cut across, we want some of them to be able to be shown. Now we're gonna do the little heart too. Huh, well if I do the little heart, I'm gonna have to cut it out because this is going on our card front. So I think I'll just find a little heart uh, sequin or something. So we don't have to really cut much until we get I mean, these we can just kind of go around. So I have this way sped up so you can watch me cutting out the grass. I don't know how thrilling it is, but at least you get to see it. And I'm doing this voiceover because, truthfully, I didn't feel like searching for music for what was likely to be just a few seconds of me cutting. And I think um, that this turned out rather well considering that it's very thin grass. So let's just continue. And it wasn't bad at all to cut this out, surprisingly. Got my thumb stuck. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. I got all these little pieces that I need to pick up. Get this out of the way and hope for the best. Come on. Okay, now you go there. Let's hope, 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 hope. 
Hope we got this right. Oh, and I moved it. Let's try it again. Wait, it should be more like that. And I get to remove our grass, which I did not do. And I did not clean my grass. So I accidentally left my cleaning cloth in the container with the lid on so it would stay wet and now it smells all musty and nasty and I'll have to take it out and wash it. I don't know how to avoid either letting it dry out or I keep it moist and it gets all smelly. Anyone have any ideas? I would love to hear them. I really would. So, maybe just not using a damp uh, stamp cleaning chamois. I don't know. Let's see how this is. And I was shaking the table. Sorry. Looks pretty good. Maybe we'll do it one more time. And go back up because that's the way that doesn't shake the table. When I go that way, the table shakes. Let's uh, cross our fingers and hope that the mask worked. Come on, off with you. Ta-da! Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. I hardly ever mask, but that was incredible. So let's try to put this back so I can use it again if I choose. But who am I fooling? I'll probably never do it again. And there goes the dog, like clockwork. It's like, are you doing a video? Yeah, okay, well, I'm just going to sit here and wait till I hear something. Then I'm going to bark. And that's what he does. Like, roof, 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 roof. I think the other dog went to bed. He's just like, you're not going to be, you know, in the room so I can be on your lap? No, well, I'm going to bed then. Not that he's going to sleep. I guarantee he'll be down again. Remember to get my stamp. And take the bunny away. Get you. Man, that looks good enough that that could be a card panel by itself. I want that to be a card panel. If I made that the card panel, that would mean I would not have to fussy cut it. I could just cut it way, way down and go ahead and put it on my background. We cut it way down in just a square there as I try to get this to work. Cut it way down, and I mean way, way down, and we could just put it in the center there. Oh, we could try it. Let me try it first. That'll save me some fussy cutting. Okay, I'm not sure if that's pink enough for the ears and the cheeks, but we'll find out. Let's start by, well, you know what? I might just end up using one color green just because this grass is so skinny. I mean, I can't really see using two. How do you blend on something that is so skinny? It's about unblendable. Now we're going to take this and just go underneath to join it. Which is why I think just cutting it into a square might work. And yeah, I think I'm done with the green. Oh, you hear that? The cat is serenading us now. Try to push some of that back in. The only thing is, sometimes I think this almost makes it worse. 
I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, let's see about our pink. Is our pink pink enough or do we need pinker? Pinker, I kind of like that. I think that's perfect. Pink. Ooh. You know what? Let's make his entire ears pink because he's a baby with pink ears. Now we're going to do a little cheek. And we'll do hers here. Just the one. We're going to do this blue. We're going to be cutting this off regardless. So let's see how blue that is. Is that too blue? It's a zero, zero, zero. I don't think I have a zero, zero, zero. I would have pulled it out. I have a blue green zero, zero, zero. Let's see how that is. Okay, we're just gonna have to be careful. That's all. Not too much. Just a little blue. Prefer blue sometimes to gray with these. Don't know why. I mean, I know on snowmen it probably makes sense because ice can be kind of bluish. But white, I don't know. I just think a little blue can be fun. A little lighter would have made me happier. But it is what it is. And I think this dries back a bit, as you've seen. We'll get the tips up here. And then maybe just the body a little bit. The tails. I think that's cute as heck. Now let's go ahead and cut that way down and see what we can do. I'll take it. Can we do four deep? What happens if we're four deep? Um, hmm. well, first of all, My dogs, I am so sorry that they're doing this. The dogs, the cat, it's like it doesn't matter. My animals just live to bark. Okay, I've got you. I've got this card base. And you know what I lost? I lost my sentiment somewhere. So I'm going to have to find that. But I like the way this looks. What do you think? And then I can kind of maybe put the sentiment right there if I ever find it. If not, I may have to do it again. Okay, I found my sentiment. So if we can get this where it belongs and go somebody loves you, it'll take care of the uh, amount of white right there. Let's go ahead and I've got a little piece of white to glue glue, well, excuse me, to glue inside my card base, which is the smoke blue, smoke blue, cornflower blue. I don't even know. It says, Simon says blue. Come on, get that out of there. This thing is being difficult. This is uh, our glitter glue. And I cannot believe how long it took me to do that. So hopefully I can cut something out so it is not ultra, ultra long. So let's go ahead. And I want this kind of just there for 
decoration. Why not? Make it pretty. Put that right there. Come on. Looks like I have a sliver sticking right above it. If you hear that, that's all the mess I have next to me. Okay, and now we can glue down this. I love this, this is just so pretty. Little pastel bricks. even because I suck and I'm never even. Pull it off real quick and try to fix it. We have a little bit of time and now we're... Mm. Okay, there we go. And because it gets tacky, it's able to stick down even though I pull it up. So now we're gonna stick down our little bunnies that I thought I was gonna have to fussy cut. I was not looking forward to that. But instead, we'll just do this. Could have used like um, an oval die. That would have worked too. Uh, my dogs didn't like it when I said oval die because they started barking. I should go look and see what they're barking at, except I can guarantee there is nothing out there. They just heard something and started barking because they're fools. Somebody loves you. Love it. Yes, fussy cut this out. I did use a couple or a die, and then I decided to continue cutting it to get the uh, loves you squared as well. And right there. I wonder if I should use some pink or rose gold sequins. I mean, I wonder, or I could try to get some, something else. Let me see what else I have. I have some Simon Says Surprise Party sequins. And some of these are, oh look, there's a little pink heart. Ooh, I wonder if we should use that. Um, some of these are confetti and not sequins, so. Let me dig through them and find the confetti. And we will use that because I want confetti on this card. Confetti. Three pieces of confetti. Hmm. I don't really want that there. I want this to stay simple and clean. I wonder if I should use the blue. No, not the blue. Like maybe like yellow. Hmm, I keep second guessing myself. Ooh, but this little bitty heart right there. Kind of like it. I mean, real tiny. Okay, let's do that. That was serendipitous that that was there. Put a tiny little piece of glue, piece of glue, tiny little glue dot right there for our heart. And let's glue down our little sequins, which I don't know that I needed, but I dug them out and gosh darn it, we're going to use them. And use the patented Tina triangle, two up on top and one down there. And that's it for the first, maybe the only card, depending on how long this took me to do. And the card. So let's take a look here. Put these back in. Come on, I have a little bit of static there. They don't want to get off the tray. I'm dropping them all over. 
see, wrapping it all over. Okay, somebody loves you. Isn't that just so cute? Love it. Okie dokie. Well, I checked it out. and This video is already at 25 minutes edited. So the second card I wanted to make, I just went ahead and watercolored it and put it together. If I'd have done this on camera, it would have, well, it took me another hour to make the card itself, watercolor and everything. So if I would have recorded it, even sped up, we're looking at another 15 minutes minimum. And that would have been me going, bleep, 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 bleep. you know, well, not quite that, but you get the picture. So anyway, so the second card, I used um, one of the watercolor sheets from Susie, Susie Plant Mara, maybe? I don't know. It just says watercolor by Susie on the sheet. And um, so I used my Zig Real Brush markers and watercolored this. And then, you know, I I like using the um, Clearless Blender to spread it all out. I find that even works better than a water brush on some papers. And on this paper in particular, the Colorless Blender, one that comes with the Zig, works uh, the best. And so I used multiple colors. And then I put some more of those little confettis from the Simon Says Stamp birthday uh, confetti, I think it was whatever it was on the last card, same thing here, just picked out some different colors and put them across. I mounted this on some lavender card stock and this is the second card. So two cards out of this kit on Throwback Thursday, this one you saw me do and this one you heard me explain not very well. Anyhow, that's it for now. If you enjoyed watching this, um, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you're not already. For some reason, people see this series and are like, boop, unsubscribe. And I'm like, really? I didn't think it was that bad. But there we have it. Or at least hit the like button. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, I'm still happy that you're here. And anyhow, that's it for now, everyone. Bye-bye.